Park Sheikh, the youngest you've seen him and in a delightful role, is the best thing about Katha. Directed by Sai Paranjpai, this 1983 film is as human as all the other movies but still quite underwhelming. Katha is supposed to be the story of the hare and the tortoise. The film begins with a grandmother telling her grandson the story of the hare and the tortoise and the grandmother ruing about how the world is all wrong. Nasir Yudin Shah plays a timid man who goes out of his way to help others because he's very nice and unable to say no. He's also very hardworking and lives in a chawl and is in love with one of his neighbours played by Dipti Nawal who doesn't have the same feelings for him. One day, a friend of his, played by Farooq Sheikh, shows up and announces that he will be staying with Nasiruddin Shah for a while. Farooq Sheikh is a smooth talker who fits his way through life and mooches everything along the way. He steals Nasiruddin Shah's money, lords over him, charms all the others in the chawl, gets a job at a very high position where Nasiruddin Shah works, gets Nasiruddin Shah to do his work, and manages to make not just Titi Nawal but also his boss's wife and daughter fall in love with him. The actor is outstanding. Farooq Sheikh is outstanding in Katha. He plays an amoral man, someone without a conscience, who doesn't give a rat's ass about his bluff being caught. I'm worried about being caught by his boss or about any of his other affairs being found out. Farooq Sheikh ditches Titi Nawal on the day of their engagement without as much as a goodbye. Ends with Nasiruddin Shah offering to marry Deepti Nawal after she has been dumped at the altar. And even after knowing that she had gotten intimate with Farooq Sheikh just before he dissed her, the grandmother and the grandchild. After hearing the story, the grandson exclaims that the daughter wise has won, slow and steady, and all that. But it leads the grandmother to wonder aloud if that can even be called a victory. Think about it. Nasirun Shah doesn't have a choice and neither does Dipti Nawal. The last we see of Sheikh is him drinking tea with some Sheikh in some five star and then a plane taking off to somewhere. What I really like about Katha is that there's no karma or punishment or what goes around comes around kind of crap. It's very real, very human. What I don't like about Katha is that it's too long and quite boring. Even for a guy like me who likes middle of the road movies, slow movies in general, Katha is just very dull. Also, the songs are unnecessary. The music is just not required. How Katha won a national award is beyond me. It isn't something I'd watch again. Sai Paranjpai has made quite a few good movies. Katha isn't one of them.